Hi, in this video we want to talk about inserting formatting marks. We can find them here, insert formatting marks, and we have non-breaking space, non-breaking hyphen, soft hyphen, narrow no-break space, optional break, and word joiner. Let's see all of them here. Let's experiment with them. So let's see non-breaking space. We have this number here, and we want we don't want uh, it to be splitted on two lines. So let's uh, see what we can do. Let's insert with shift, control and space. Let's do the same thing here. Okay. Or we can go from here if we don't know the shortcut. Uh, we have this uh, field here, so view field shading, we can disable that, but we can enable in order to see that we have a special character there. So we succeeded to have the same number on a single line, on the first line or on the second line. The same is available with hyphen. We can use a normal hyphen. In this case, uh, if we enter some text here, uh, the number is splitted on two rows, or we can insert non-breaking hyphen, shift, control, minus. You can see the text stays together on a single line. Let's talk about soft hyphen. So let's remove the number. Let's go to paragraph and we have no hyphenation. But maybe I want uh, the word Monday to be hyphenated, so let's insert here a hyphen, a soft hyphen. Okay, you can see it's something very small. Now if I enter more text, the text is hyphenated even I specify in paragraph that I don't want hyphenation. So this is useful for these cases where you, in general you don't want hyphenation but you want a special case somewhere. Uh, let's see now with Sunflower a narrow non-break space. Um, Let's write some text here. Here we have a normal space and here we have, we want to insert a narrow non-break space. So let's go, no break, okay. So it's a narrow space. Uh, let's uh, check that. So we measure the distance between one Let's change the transparency here. We can see we have the distance of uh, this shape between one and one, and here it's overlapping this number, so it's narrower. Uh, we can see by inserting a normal space and the number move on the right. Okay. Now, uh, no width optional break is for um, special um, complex languages. We don't talk about him. him. Uh, let's talk about word joiner. So, for example, um, if I check in the paragraph and I have uh, everything hyphenated, I have sun, flower but maybe I don't want sunflower to be hyphenated. So I need a word joiner. Insert, formatting, word joiner. And now sunflower stays together on the second line or the first line. Okay, well, let's test. Uh, another way it's, um, you can see with hyphenation, it's uh, enabled, so the same, I don't want that word joiner, 
and also here. And now Tuesday stays together. Another way to keep uh, words together is much easier to accomplish with paragraph uh, and increase here the characters at line end at, and at line beginning. So let's uh, see. Even if I remove all the special uh, formatting marks, okay, for sunflower and so on, the words are not splitting, are not hyphenated because I have a condition here. So let's see, sunflower, sun, flower have three characters. So if I remove here to be three, you can see sun, it's matching the condition, but if I change to four, it's staying together. So it's much easier to play with that instead of using word joiner. But for the case you need it, it's very important to know that word joiner can join two words. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.